So first things first, just because you're fat doesn't make you a bad person. Bottom line, that's that's the way it is. This is just tough love coming from somebody's who somebody's who who has been overweight and who knows how it feels in the mind, in the gut, you know, just but to have these negative emotions of self deprecating, you know, I can't do this or you know, I, I can't run because I'm 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 too fat and I'll blah 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 or I can't cycle because I don't have the energy. It's not gonna do anything. You're just telling yourself what you wanna hear and you're just gonna keep on that negative loop. So until you actually realize that you can change and you will change and it's not as hard as you think to change. It's easy. It's really easy. But it's all a mental game. And it's about your perception. So if you can change your perception, you could effectively change your life. In an instant. So if it all of a sudden, it's a beautiful day right now. And all of a sudden, it pours. Just pours. And it's pouring all day. I could either say, oh shit, you know, now I have to go inside and I can't be outside and you know, run or slack line or relax or whatever, or read outside. But instead, I would say, oh, okay, now I can work on my music inside. I can work on my monologues inside. I can still read inside. You know, it's, it's you know, the plants are getting water like they should, and it's all about perception. It's all about perception. So you think of your weight loss... As so, say you're 350 pounds right now. I'm like 150, 140, whatever. So, say you're 350 and you're saying, You fucking skinny asshole, you don't know what you're talking about. You know, would you rather listen to a skinny guy trying to help you with real talk than some fucking fat person? Again, doesn't make him a bad person, but some fucking fat person trying to sell you gimmicks and tell you that you're, you're like you're f shit and you can't change. I'm telling that you can change. And yes, it takes hard work, but it's all in the mind. So say to yourself, oh, okay, I'm not going to calorie restrict, but I'm not going to eat fat. You know, I'm not going to have olive oil. I'm not going to have these raw cashew, cheese, butter, whatever, high-fat concoctions. I'm not going to eat a high-protein diet. I'm going to get rid of the animal products because I know that they're not helping me achieve the goals that I want. Write down your goals. Go out in nature. Go out in nature for a couple hours with just a pad and a piece of paper, like I did. And just write down what makes you happy. Boil it down to the simplest terms every single day. What makes you happy? For me, it's sitting in the sun, reading a really interesting book that helps me in my life. So, this is a good one right now that I'm reading, and it's phenomenal. I suggest that you pick it up. Go out in nature, write down your goals, what makes you happy, what goals you want to attain in the future. Like one of my goals in the future, 10, 20 years, is run 100 miles, an ultra, ma an ultra marathon race. I haven't even fucking run 10 miles yet. I sprained my ankle or I tore something in my foot running 5 miles because I never used to do that at once. I did it, but I fucked up my leg and, you know, you learn from it. So you have to jump in it. You have to jump. You have to leap first and build your wings on the way going down. You have to do that sometimes. So you have to take the leap, make a conscious effort to change yourself, to be a better person, to live the life that you want to live, instead of living this lethargic, hate-filled, shitty thought, self-deprecating nature. And in turn, fill it with love, fill it with hope, fill it with tenacity, fill it with vibrancy, fill it with longevity, fill it with plant foods that'll help you get there along the way, that'll aid in the cultivation of a healthy body, that'll help your healthy mind, which you'll be forming with these new helpful thoughts, and then that'll, it'll, healthy, healthy mind, healthy body will help you Become fit, be, lose the weight, whatever your goal is. Whether you know, playing, you want to run with your kids more. Be, you know, you're overweight, you can't do it. 
you have to set these goals and you have to write them down. And you have to listen to people and cultivate relationships that ultimately bring forth these goals and cultivate these goals. So does it make sense? You know, so many people I see take advice from people not getting the results they want just because they have a theory that they like, like the Atkins diet crap. Dr. Atkins died of heart disease on the table. Overweight, 200 something pounds. You know, what does that say? Again, he's not a, maybe he's not a bad person, but he's overweight. And yeah, you're saying, oh yeah, but you can't judge people because they're overweight. That's fucking stupid. That's how nothing changes. You know, saying that, say if I have a friend who's, you know, overweight, and but he's trying to do the right thing, and I don't tell him that he's overweight, what the fuck is that? What kind of friend am I? I'm an asshole. The same thing if your friend gets gets really into, you know, heroin or drinking or, or smoking weed or something, and you don't say anything to him, that's not a friend. You are not a friend to that person. So I'm trying to be a friend to you and telling you you're fat because the animal products and you're not changing your life because of these negative thoughts in your head. And don't say it's because of genetics and bullshit. Because I have obesity in my family, heart disease, diabetes, all those things. And you know, high fruit diet, low fat, low protein, low sodium is the way it is the way it's at. That's what I'm doing. So lose the animal products, lose the self deprecating thoughts and carb up so you can have the energy to do the things that you want to do, the goals that you want to attain. And that's it. You know, it's 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 that simple. So what I pers- what I what I recommend for you to do right this minute is if you stayed this long, you want to change yourself, right? And if you watch if you're watching this video, you're most likely overweight because I mean the title. So what you can do right now is lose the animal products. Give them to your cat, dog, whatever. Throw them out, recycle them, whatever you can do. Just get rid of them. You don't need them at all. They're not helping you. Every every bite of that stuff you take is a bite to not attaining your goals, to eating death. So eat life, plant foods, raw living plant foods, rather than death, animal carcasses, and mammary excretions from other animals. So get rid of that stuff. Get rid of that stuff. Adopt a plant-based diet. Again, I I live on usually less than $50 a week, and I eat unlimited carbohydrates, mostly fruits, mostly vegetables, some grains, mostly fruits and vegetables, $50 a week or less. It's easy. And if you can't afford that, then get on welfare. You know, stop buying crap that you don't need. It's, a, it's easy. It's really easy when you think about it. So, you know, buy, buy a case of bananas. You know? You say, oh, well, that's too much sugar. That's too much. Judge by results, not by theory. Is it too much sugar? Is that what the meat and dairy industry are telling you? Fuck them. They're the ones that made you unhealthy anyway. You know? You gotta critically think. Read books like 801010, The Starch Solution, Igniting Your Life by John McCabe, like the book I showed you. Books like these will get you into the mindset of changing your life and having a sustainable, healthy lifestyle forever from this point on. So... I hope that helps, man. So, you know, back to the basics, you know, buy the, buy the case of bananas and then go through that. You know, go on Mono mono Fruit Island, it's called. Just eat bananas for a week. See how you feel. You got to make sure you eat enough calories. Get enough calories in, get enough sleep. At least 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, whatever hours of sleep you need. Get that in. Go to bed when the sun comes down. Come up when it... You know, rise when it comes up. Go for a walk in the morning. You can't run. I don't suggest you do with 350 pounds. You'll get a tremendous amount of injuries if you haven't run before. So walk. Walk to the mailbox. And then if that's all you can do, then fine. Pat yourself on the back. Walk to the mailbox again when you, uh, when you before you go to bed. Twice a day. And then the next day, walk a little bit more past the mailbox. It's about baby steps. If I were to, if I, because my, my goal is the 100, 100 mile ultra, ultra marathon race, right? 
So if I were to say, oh, well, you know, I'll never get there because, you know, I'm, right now I'm only running two miles at most a day, at most, right? And I'm sharing with you because it's all about transparency. So if I were to say, oh, I'm just doing that and I'll never get to 100 miles, you, you'll never get there because to get to the place where you want to be, you have to fucking start somewhere. And if you don't start somewhere... And you'll just say, oh, you know, I'll never get there, so I'm just not going to do it. Then you're just going to be a failure. So I know you're not a failure. Because if you're watching a video like this, you want to change your life. And you're taking the first steps to it. So, I mean, I hope that makes sense. It makes sense to me. I think it's, it's, it's common sense. But again, it's, it's, it's tough love. That a lot of people would say, oh, you're fucking judgmental or whatever. It's like, fine, you know. Would you tell your best friend that they should quit smoking if they were smoking? It's the same thing. So, people think that you're being, it's nice when you're just ignoring the fucking elephant in the room. All the obese people in America. All the obese people in Europe. All the obese people in Australia. The obese fucking kids that are, are that are happening now. That's happening now in America. The rest of the world, developing countries are looking at America as just some fat nation of lazy people. Do you want to be that stereotype? Do you want to? Do you want your life? When you die, what? How do you? How do you want to be remembered? You know? Do you want to be remembered as? Oh yeah, he was nice, overweight. He didn't do much, but he was a nice guy. Fuck that. I don't want that at all. What's the point of that? Who are you helping doing that? So, this video's gone long enough. Uh, so, it's just my thoughts. So, if you like it, you hit like. Let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions about the lifestyle, you're just getting into it now, or you want more information, hit me a message. I'll, be ha I'll respond super quickly. Give me a message in the comments, whatever you need. You know, let me know if you want a uh, video on something else um, to elaborate on this concept. That's it, man. Hit subscribe. If you want to learn more? Learn more about this lifestyle. Follow my journey. Whatever. It's about transparency, man. If you want, if you want to change the world, you got to be the change. You got to be the change. So, hope that helps. I'm gonna relax in the sun. Maybe get a run in, and. Uh, We'll see you later. Enjoy.